Hey, this is Laura Lynn from Lively Little Hunters, and I'm going to show you today how I clip my English cocker, Ginger. Since we have English cockers and they're hunting dogs, we need to trim them regularly to keep them clean, and uh, I am not fussy about how great my dogs look. I just want them functionally trimmed, and so I do it myself. I've been doing it about 17 or more years. Uh, this, this is the equipment that I use. I have an Offster Golden A5 clipper, size 10 blade, and then I use an old kid's toothbrush. Any kind of toothbrush is great to clean out the blades. Then I have some mineral oil. I use that when I'm done. After I brush out the blades and the clippers, I use the mineral oil to keep the blades nice and lubricated. And if the blades get hot and for blade care, I have this right here, this Andis Blaine Care, and that really works. So, I'm going to go through the process with Ginger. She needs a trim, and so I will uh, get her and we'll get started. So, this is Ginger, my female, and her hair isn't really long. You can see I, it's grown out nice for her feathers on her legs and whatnot. But this hair right here, you can see if I brush it back, it's starting to stand up. And when it's like that, she starts to shed. And I don't like dog hair all over my house. You can see here, it's long on the top. Her ears are long. So this is about the time when I start to trim her. Since it's the middle of, well, it's February, March actually, um, I am going to leave her feathers a little longer. If it were late summer and there's lots of burrs, I would trim her very short all over. But uh, for this, I'll be mainly trimming her head and her back, the back of her body. Now you can see, I have her in the bathtub. I trim my dogs either in the bathtub or outside, depending on the time of the year. I find it's just easiest to clean up. If you're gonna do it in the bathtub, make sure the bathtub's dry, otherwise you'll end up with dog hair stuck everywhere and it's no fun to clean up. Uh, another thing, <coughs> excuse me, to note is that when you are um, trimming your dog, it makes sense to start off if you're going to get dog hair places, so keep the area as clean as possible and get yourself some nice um, pants that are uh, resistant to dog hair, something that's nylon or jeans that you can brush it off easily, but don't wear anything you're planning on wearing in a couple hours. 